Next, we'll discuss objects. In the editor, pressing up on the D-pad opens the new objects menu. Once open, you can use the D-pad or left analog stick to navigate the menus. Hit A to select a category. Scroll left and right to check out the subcategories and scroll up and down to see the objects within them. While viewing an object, you can use the right analog stick to rotate it around and Y will randomly change its color if its color can be changed. There is also some useful information displayed to the right of the object. Its complexity, mass, hit points, and whether or not it is breakable, can have physics, or change colors are all displayed here. Select an object with the A button and it'll spawn within the world. From there, you can move it around with the analog sticks. Left stick moves it forward and backward, left and right. Right stick moves it up and down, left and right. The A button places the object. Y button will place the object as well as spawn a new one, also known as copying it. And the X button will delete the object. There are a few other things you need to know about manipulating objects in the editor. First, you'll see that once selected, an object is surrounded by three circles. These represent the axes on which you can rotate the object. An object can only be rotated on one axis at a time. The current axis will be displayed thicker than the other two, and you can cycle through which one you are using by hitting the right bumper. Rotating the object is done with the left and right triggers. Clicking in on the stick, R3, will snap the object to the driving line. Clicking R3 again will snap the object back to its default rotation. Finally, if you want to select multiple items at once, simply hold the left bumper as you make your selection. When holding LB, you will see a little plus symbol over your cursor to let you know that you're now ready to select multiple items. Many objects will have multiple variations. These could be the same object in different sizes, different versions of one object, or in some cases, different groupings of objects. When viewing the objects in the new objects menu, if an item has variations, it'll be displayed directly above the object. You can scroll through variations using the left and right bumpers and once you've chosen one, place it as normal. You can also adjust some options once an item has been placed in the world. Selecting an object and hitting up on the D-pad will bring up that object's properties menu. Every item in the game will have some options you can adjust in this menu. In the light editor, there will only be a few options. If the item has variations or can change color, you can do that here. You can also save your object to your favorites, which we will cover a little later. This may only have a few uses now, but as we move into the advanced editor, this menu will have many more options and become very important. 